The event in Apollo is an entertainment venue and a Grade 2 asterisk listed building located in Hammersmith, London. Designed by Robert Cromie in Art Deco style, it opened in 1932 as the Gourmet Palace, being renamed the Hamasmith Odeon in 1962. It has had a string of names and owners, most recently AEG Live and Aventum UK. History the venue was opened in 1932 as the Gourmet Palace and seated nearly 3,500 people. It was designed by Robert Cromie in the Art Deco style. In 1962, the building was renamed Hammersmith Odeon, a name many people still use for the venue along with the abbreviation HAMIO. It became a Grade II listed building in 1990. The venue was later refurbished and renamed Labatt's Apollo following a sponsorship deal with Labatt Brewing Company. In 2002, the venue was again renamed, this time to Carling Apollo after Carling Brewery struck a deal with the owners. US-based Clear Channel Entertainment UK Limited in 2005. The venue's listing was upgraded to Grade 2 asterisk status in 2005. In 2003, the stall seats were made removable and now some concerts have full seating whilst others have standing only in the stalls. In the latter format the venue can accommodate around 5,000 people. The event was marked by rock band AC, DC playing an exclusive one-off concert and only charging £10 per ticket. All 5,000 tickets sold out in four minutes. In 2006, the venue reverted to its former name, the Hammersmith Apollo. In 2007, the original 1932 Compton Pipe Organ, still present from the building's days as a cinema, was restored. The building then changed hands and was bought by the Mama Group. On 14 January 2009, a placing announcement by HMV Group revealed that by selling additional shares, the company would raise money to fund a joint venture with the Mama Group to run 11 live music venues across the United Kingdom, including the Hammersmith Apollo. As a result, the venue was named HMV Apollo from 2009 until 2012. Other venues purchased include the Forum in London's Kentish Town, the Birmingham Institute and Aberdeen's Moshaloo. The venue was sold by HMV Group in May 2012 to AEG Live and CTS Eventum. In 2013, the venue was closed for an extensive refurbishment which was carried out by award-winning architect Foster Wilson. The venue reopened as the event in Apollo on 7 September 2013, with a concert performance by Selena Gomez the Compton Pipe Organ. The original 1932 Compton Pipe Organ is still present at the Apollo and was fully restored to playing condition in 2007. It has a four-manual console which rises through the stage on a new lift and about 1,200 organ pipes housed in large chambers above the front stalls. Ceiling. Having fallen into disrepair, the organ was disconnected in the 1990s and the console removed from the building. However at English Heritage and the Council's insistence it has been reinstated and the entire organ restored. A launch party was held on 25 July 2007, at which an invited audience and the media witnessed Richard Hills play the instrument. Pipe organs such as this were installed in most cinemas of the pre-war period to provide music for film shows, accompany silent movies and to feature in solo performances. Many were also broadcast on the radio and recorded on 78 revolutions per minute records. These organs were based on church-type instruments but had many other sounds including percussion instruments built in. A lot of the pipe sounds were designed to sound like instruments of the orchestra and indeed the organs were in effect one-man orchestras offering a large variety of sounds and being capable of accommodating music styles from classical to jazz. Although several such organs survive in the UK these days, there are very few left in their original buildings. The Apollo organ is one of these and its sounds now fill the huge Apollo auditorium again after about 25 years of silence. 
In popular culture, many bands have released live CDs, videos or DVDs of concerts held at the Apollo, such as Celtic Frost, Kings of Leon, Tears for Fears, Dire Straits, Frank Zappa, Sophie Ellis Baxter and Robbie Williams. Kate Bush released a video and record EP of her concerts at the Odeon from her first tour in 1979. Duran Duran recorded at the Hammersmith Odeon on 16 November 1982 and released live at Hammersmith 82. Kylie Minogue performed a one-off concert in the venue in 2003 and released a DVD of the performance in 2004. Minogue also performed the last show of her anti-tour in the venue on 3 April 2012. Girls Aloud released a DVD of their concert at the Apollo in 2005, a DVD of a Bruce Springsteen concert held there in 1975 was released as part of the Born to Run 30th Anniversary Edition package. Later the CD, Hammersmith Odeon London, 75 was released. Melodic death metal band In Flames also released a DVD that featured footage of a December 2004 performance there. Comedian and actor Eddie Izzard's show Glorious was also released as a DVD. Rush recorded their 1978 performance and later included it in their three-disc set, Different Stages. American musician Tori Amos released a series of six live albums in 2005 known as the Original Bootlegs, one of which was recorded at the Apollo. Photographs of the Who outside the Hammersmith Odeon appear on their 1973 album Quadrophenia. Pink Floyd guitarist David Gilmour performed three nights at the venue in April 1984 which was documented on the David Gilmour Live 1984 concert film. These shows are of note as Roy Harper guested on Short and Sweet and Gilmour's Pink Floyd bandmate Nick Mason played drums on Comfortably Numb. In 1984 the London-based heavy metal band Iron Maiden recorded side four of their double live album Live After Death at the venue. Iron Maiden's affection for the Hammersmith Odeon also resulted in the filming of a 1982 performance which was subsequently released as Beast Over. Hammersmith. Other acts have made music videos featuring clips from performances at the Apollo. Kelly Clarkson made a special version of her Breakaway video, using clips from her concert at the Apollo in 2006. The Hammersmith Apollo is seen in the American romantic comedy film Just My Luck where McFly perform. In the movie, the venue stands in for the Hard Rock Cafe. It is also the location in the football factory where the Chelsea fans board the bus for Liverpool. It is mentioned in the poem Glam Rock, the poem by the poet Robert Archambeau. The exterior of the Gormand Palace was used as the Grand Cinema in the 1957 British film The Smallest Show on Earth.